Hey guys, it's Dadstick there, and welcome back to a brand new Sims OP. Um, so yeah, you guys probably know what this is gonna be um, by the title down below. Um, but I just want to recap before I start. So for any of you who haven't seen it, Frozen is uh, I'm not gonna say the newest because I'm not actually sure what is the newest Disney movie. Um, but yeah, it's probably one of the most like amazing Disney movies. Seriously, it was it was incredible. I love it. Seriously. And I was inspired to do this challenge. Sorry for my throat, guys. I only woke up like an hour ago. Um, so it sounds a bit raspy. I apologise. Um, but yeah, I was inspired to do this challenge by um, Sophie Sims, my good friend, um, who also does Sims LPs. If you haven't checked her out, I'll make sure I leave the link in the description so you can go out and check out her version. I'm hoping we're going to be doing this LP a little different from each other because even though I did get the idea from her, I don't want to actually copy her because that wouldn't be fair. Um, so hopefully you guys will go over there and see how she does this um, challenge. Um, I say it's a challenge because there is a sims 3 frozen challenge online in my opinion it's not the best challenge out there so what i thought i would do is i would take some aspects from that challenge but then i want to also follow the storyline of the movie so hopefully it'll work out um i'm really excited for this i apologize for the castle door i don't know why it's blue um but we won't see the door so hopefully it'll be fine also the grounds look a bit bare but hopefully we'll fill that out as we go um but i don't really know what stuff to put there but oh well i'm sure we'll be fine um so let's jump ahead and meet the characters of Frozen. So hopefully you guys have seen this because there's going to be a lot of spoilers in it. If you haven't, I would recommend buying the DVD if you haven't seen it. And you might be thinking, oh, but I haven't seen it, I might not like it. You'll love it. Trust me. If you don't like musicals, then you probably won't. But I'm not a massive fan of musicals. It was amazing. Seriously. It was incredible. It's my favourite film. Seriously. Because I was really sceptical of buying it. Um, but yeah, I bought it and it was amazing. Okay, go buy it. Anyway, let's meet the characters. Um, so first of all, um, come over here. Turn, can you turn around? I don't know, because like, it's kind of a, I don't know. I'll just pause it and we'll go around. So here is the Queen of Arendelle. Arendelle is the castle and the area they live in, so like the kingdom almost. Um, unfortunately... The king and queen um, don't actually, um, they're not actually in the move that long. So they don't actually have a name. They're just the queen and king of Arendelle. Um, because, spoiler, they die um, really early on. In the first 10, 20 minutes, they die. Um, so they don't actually have a massive role in the film. But anyway, this is the queen. Um, she somewhat looks like her. Um, the co the outfit, not at all. Um, I do try my hardest, but it was kind of difficult because because like I said, the characters, the mum and dad, are not really important in this film. Um, so people don't really make the custom content for them because it's not really needed. Um, but yeah, this is the queen of Arendelle. Then we have the king of Arendelle, and his face just makes me laugh. Um, come over here because you're in a really awkward place his face is just hilarious he looks like a frog okay he looks fine in the movie but in the scenes i don't really know what happened um so he looks a bit goofy um but he'll be dead soon so it doesn't really matter <laughs> um then we have our first character here is elsa she is the witch in the movie, um, which we'll go into a little later on as the story progresses. Um, but yeah, she's the witch, um, and she has ice powers, but we um, they know that, but that's how the story progresses. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit later, because I try not to spoil everything straight away. I kind of want to let you guys go into it kind of blind if you haven't seen it, um, and then I'll kind of unravel the story as it goes. Um, but a little bit about Elsa, we, she does have powers but as you guys know you can't use supernatural powers as a child so we can't actually do magic until we make we get to a teen um but everyone knows she does have powers just this family knows just imagine they're in a kingdom and there's villages nearby they do not know that she has powers it's just this family that knows she has powers um so yeah um 
Anna knows she has powers as well. Let me jump over to Anna, who is our little sister. She is a toddler, but in the movie, they're sort of children. Um, they're very, very young children. But the reason I've made Anna a toddler is because Elsa's actually three days, um, three years older than Anna in the film. So as soon as, soon as um, Anna gets to three days old in Sims, I'm going to age her up automatically. So we've got that age difference, which is going to be really good. Because when... Um, Elsa goes for her coronation as queen, um, Anna is 15 years old, whereas Elsa is 18 years old. So there's a three-year gap difference, and that's how I'm going to try and do that. Um, but yeah, here is Anna. She's super cute. My opinion would be that Anna is the main character in this film, even though people often favour Elsa. But I think that's just some sort of, I don't know stigma maybe um because she is a witch and she's kind of seen as like i don't know the most awesome character maybe because she has these powers but my favorite is anna and she is the main character in the film um but anyway that's totally irrelevant so at the moment anna does know that elsa has powers but something's going to happen later on that um she actually forgets that she has powers and she does not know she Elsa has powers but we'll get into that later on anyway these are the characters and let's start the LP oh I just want to go through the traits um so when Anna gets to um I think two days to aging up i'm gonna age her up automatically so she's got that age difference from, um from Elsa um because, yeah, the age is already that um, Elsa's got six days to go. So in a couple of days, I'll age them up. Um, well, I'll just age Anna up. So I want to go through the traits. I'm not going to bother with the king and queen because they're just random. Um, Elsa is a loner, which will play out in the film a little later. She is brave and family orientated. Anna is clumsy and excitable because she's a bit I want to say she's a little bit blonde in this film but she's not she's really funny and she's a bit ditzy um, but she's amazing seriously she's so fun um, so at the moment in Arendelle um, it is summer and you guys might think frozen it's gonna be snow we'll get to that later on but at the moment it's um, in Arendelle it's summer because um, the story hasn't progressed enough for it to be winter just yet so I'm gonna push play and I will just need to go to the options a second to give the um, atomy level um, autonomy sorry to give a high free will so they can just wander around <laughs> and the um, the water's just popped in which is really really good we've got some notifications here there we go um the queen can you go ahead and pick up anna no don't talk to your husband can you go ahead and pick up anna um pick up Anna because she can't go up these steps because she's a toddler the bridge is really awesome i'm getting a little bit lag guys but um hopefully that's not too bad i need the queen to bring anna into the house because she can't get up them steps unfortunately go Oh, I need to tell you to go here. Uh, put Anna down here. There we go. No, d no, pick her up. Uh, pick up Anna. Wait, the queen's evil? Oh, I did not know that. Just ignore the traits, guys. I was not going for them. They're completely random, okay? Okay, queen, put down Anna here. Go. There we go. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> We're not here for university. I can tell you that now. Where's the king going? The king is going to check out the light? Are you crazy, dude? And Elsa is going to check out the um, statue. So that's really, really good. Okay. Um, there's actually a dungeon here, but there's nothing here. Um, yeah, there's nothing here right now, so I'm not really sure what I can do with that. Maybe it'll come into play later on. Who knows? So just ignore that for now. Um... Elsa, you need to actually come and, um, no, oh, queen, queen, go here, get out of the way, you're going to annoy me, thank god you're going to die soon. Um, Elsa, come and talk to your baby sister, um, I want you to play peekaboo with her, and I want to do a few with them. Where are you going? Oh. 
That's cool! You have to go through like the dungeon to get to different places. Oh, that's cool! I like that. I was going to block that off and that was going to be really bad. Oh, wow. What I'm going to do is, guys, I'm actually just going to pause the recording. I'm actually going to block this dungeon off because it's going to be a bit annoying going up and down the stairs. But, um, yeah, I'll be back in just two minutes. Okay, guys, and I'm back. And I just removed the dungeon and made some little doors and things like that. Um, but I left this here so they can actually get down there if needed, whatever, in the future. Um, so, yeah, I just want to while um, Elsa and no. King, no. No. You are not, no. I'm going to delete that computer, actually, because we do not have computers in castle time and things like that. Um, whenever, okay, whenever, whatever year that's set, Frozen set in, okay, I don't know what year it is, okay, don't judge me. And the Queen is going over to get a drink. I think she's going to become an alcoholic, who knows. That's okay. She can be an alcoholic if she wants to. Um, anyway, so what Elsa and Anna, Anna, sorry, in the film they pronounce it Anna. So I need to remember to do that because it's kind of strange, but I need to uh, remember to do that. So Elsa and Anna, um, while they are doing that, I'm sorry for getting this lag, guys. Um, I don't really know why. I'm just going to have a tour around the house. So here we actually have the kitchen. And do we have like washers and dryers? No, we don't. And we actually have a dining room here, nice breakfast bar, some fireplaces, very cool, love that fireplace. In here we have um, the living room, there's TV there, um, no, we're not having TV, sorry, no technology allowed, there we go, um, go, there we go. Um, we have a spare bedroom here, bathroom, a little study area. Let's go upstairs. This house is huge, guys. We have um, Anna and Elsa's bedroom. Anna won't be sleeping here, though, until she becomes a child. And I just want to show you how much of a nerd I am with Frozen. When you walk into Anna and Elsa's room, on the left is Elsa's bed with the blue, and then on the right is Anna's bed with the pink. I just want to show you that. Um, yeah, that's how much of a nerd I am. And then we have a nice big study area with loads of books, like a library. Hmm. Um, and my game's like glitching as hell. Then we have another spare bedroom with an ensuite. That's going to be really cool. Little sitting area. Another little study here, another reading area, some bookcases out here on the landing, um, another sitting area, a gym. Um, then we have the king and queen's bedroom with Anna's little crib. We have a toilet right next to the king and queen's bedroom, a double shower and a double toilet, which is really cool. Coming upstairs, we have a art room, another little walkway, and we have another sitting room. So that is it for this house. And the exterior you guys saw earlier is really awesome. So yeah, it's really cool. Really, really big house though. Really big house. Probably easy to get lost in. Elsa, how are you going? So they are best friends now, so that's really cool. They can go ahead and stop doing that for the moment. Because in the film, um, Elsa, you can go and do whatever you wish. Um, in the film, they were our absolutely best friends in the beginning. They really are. They are inseparable. I actually want the Queen to come over and head and teach um, Anna to walk. Because we're going to need to do that as well. Um, so in Sophie's LP, she quickly skipped through the uh, the stages of toddler and child. I actually don't want to do that because the beginning of the film, um, when they are actually uh, young uh, people, um, young children, whatever, it kind of... Oh, uh, King? No. Can you stop? No. Put her down. Go over there. Um, so yeah, when they're children, it actually sets up the context of the film. Um, so I don't really want to skip that. But um, if we kind of find things that we're not really doing, like anything, maybe I'll skip it a little bit. Um, so yeah, and also if we've actually got her goals, we've actually 
done our goals already for the toddler years um for anna sorry and that's to be best friends with um elsa so as soon as the queen has um taught um anna to walk talk and potty we will actually go ahead and skip that because that's all ne that's all that's necessary for um anna so that's yeah that's really cool well, so we're pretty much already on our way. Again, guys, I apologise for the lag. I don't really know why. I'm assuming it's because this house is really, really big. Um, that's the only really thing I can think of. Um, but yeah, what is Elsa doing? She is reading a book. That's fair enough. Um, I do actually want to... Oh, actually, I can't do that because I need to go to the main menu. But that's fine. So, Elsa... Um, Elsa, I would rather you read a skill book rather than reading something not really needed. Um, go ahead and read a logic book. Is there different books in these bookcases? No, I don't think so. There's no cooking books or uh, mechanic books then? Just logic? Yeah, it's all just logic. Hmm. What about these ones? Just, yeah, it's all the same. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Oh, well. But you can go ahead and read a logic book. That's fine with me. Um, the king, what are you doing? Enroll Elsa Arundel in La Fromge Art School. Uh, no, we're not doing that. Learn street art skill. I don't think you'd be doing that. And go to Egypt. Um, you can go to the afterlife, but you have to wait for that. Um, so, yeah. Queen, what do you want? See a ghost? You can see your husband's ghost, or you can just look in the mirror soon. Um, buy a bunk bed? No. And socialise with a supernatural. Um, else is a supernatural. Um, you should know that. Yeah, she's definitely supernatural. Um, I also get that else is a supernatural. Like, well, any supernatural sims when they're a kid, actually, because it actually doesn't show their magic bar, which is a bit annoying, um, because I always forget. But yeah, um, for anyone who's actually seen Frozen, you may be wondering why Anna is wearing um, Elsa's dress, and that is because I downloaded Elsa's, um, An Anna's dress, sorry, Anna's dress, when she's a, um, a little kid toddler, um, but unfortunately it didn't actually, um, I installed it, but unfortunately it didn't appear in my game, so I don't understand what happened there, so I was just thought, sort of, why not just put her in Elsa's dress, it's fine for the moment, she won't be a toddler that long, um, but yeah, I do have Anna's, um, Anna, Anna's hair, um, which is the hair she'll be wearing for like pretty much the rest of the challenge. Um, so that's really awesome. So, what can we do? King is reading your book still. King, why are you reading that book? The Sandwich Horror? What a weird book. Um, I would like you to put away the books in your inventory. And then, can we go ahead and read with Elsa? So read with Elsa. Oh no, we can't, because we can't read. Oh, cooking! Yes! Anna, can you go ahead and grab one of the cooking books? Nope, they've disappeared all of a sudden. Okay, fine. Just go ahead and... Um, do you have the logic book in your inventory? Yeah, just go ahead and read that. We'll put this back in there. There we go. Cool. So the king's going to read a cooking book, is he? Why are you not sitting in this lush library you've got? You know, you're just sitting in this armchair outside. Okay, that's fine. His face is so funny. That is custom content Harry has on. I love it. It's awesome. It's just that he's so ugly. <laughs> um, oh, Anna, you nearly fell over there. The queen, you need to go use the toilet. Go to the toilet because I'm going to pee yourself. There we go. Let's run. And then come back and... Is Anna okay? She needs to be potty trained. So let's go ahead and grab a potty from Build By. Um, the Queen of Arendelle is actually a really pretty sim. I actually didn't really try to make her, but she's really pretty. I tried to match the hairstyle though, for both the king and queen. Um, come on, potty train Anna. Hmm. 
adorable net. There we go. Oh, honey bee. Oh. Are you still reading upstairs? They are. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna potty train Anna. Because she needs the toilet, so I don't want. Did she pee herself? Yep, she did. Okay, we missed it. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and change her diaper and then we will feed her on the floor. Oh god. I so I'm apologize for the evil trait again, guys. Oh god, she like hates her child. What are you doing? Change her, you're such a bad mother. Change her nappy. There we go. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to leave the first part here. Um, I'm sorry that nothing really happened. I think next part I will actually age them up. Um, well, I'll age Anna up anyway, uh, because nothing really happened. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. For oh, nice. She just sneezed on her child. Um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this new LP. And um, hopefully it will be much better next time. I'll make sure of it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time for more Frozen. Bye, guys.